It is a beautiful Saturday morning in Toronto and I am somewhere in the Toronto ravine system. It's this awesome kind of enclave of like nature and woods and a river. Right just intermixed with the city there are these beautiful houses just backing right onto it and walking trails, tons of dogs. It's awesome. How can you go wrong? I'm going to take a little detour down to the river. Uh, it has been a while since my last vlog. I feel like a ton has happened since then, and uh, I have a lot to fill you in on. So in May, I graduated from my undergrad program at McGill in civil engineering, and then I headed out west to work at this amazing off-the-grid Rocky Mountain Lodge with an awesome staff, made some lifelong friends, um, got to work with my hands every day, you know, building, fixing, learned how to fix vacuum toilets, uh, maintain propane generators, do all sorts of fixes and carpentry, a little bit of woodworking, and uh, got to do some weatherworking in my free time to make a couple videos. Uh, in short, it was an unforgettable experience and I'm super happy I did that. So when the summer ended, I packed everything into my car and uh, drove across Canada and arrived here in Toronto, where I've been since the beginning of September. I had a job lined up at a civil engineering firm and it was a quite a transition going to work in an office after uh, my job this summer, as you can imagine. Something started happening, or something continued to happen, which had started to happen in university, and that so much of my time I spent thinking about making and designing and creating uh, with my hands and making art, making videos. Kind of just frustrated that I wasn't spending my time I wasn't spending eight, nine, ten hours a day doing what I loved. And uh, I gave my notice. And now I am uh, trying to figure out what it is I really want to do. I feel incredibly lucky that I have savings to take a bit of time, not needing to make a living for the next couple of months, although I'd love to. <laughs> and it was tough because it was, you know, first job right out of university. Um, big part of me was telling to just stick it out and um, give it its fair share, but at the end of the day, I really needed to listen to myself. I'm incredibly grateful how supportive everyone around me has been. Eden, friends, family, everyone at work. Um, it's just, it feels so great being surrounded by people who um, are supporting you in what you're doing. I know Tons of people don't have the same support system and resources that I do. And you know, right on the heels of Thanksgiving, I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude that I have the opportunity to do this. It's, uh, it's really, really, truly amazing. Sorry, I'm passing right under an overpass and there is a train going over. Today. With like a side of like, oh yeah, also I like quit my job and I'm like... There's so many things I'm excited about. I'm excited to get more involved in the maker community. I'm excited to expand into more types of video, more types of art. I'm excited about selling leather products and developing my leatherworking skills. I've been doing more commissioned leather work, which I really enjoy doing, you know. There's just something incredibly satisfying and fulfilling about making something custom that is really meeting someone's requirements and kind of vision and making that come to reality. It's like almost as fulfilling as making a gift for someone. You know, when I started uh, leatherworking, I didn't think that I would become a leather worker, but you know, more and more it's, it's seeming that it's becoming a core part of my making, which is great. I mean, uh, you gotta follow those things that you can do for hours and 
forget about eating, which is uh, leatherworking is definitely that for me. It's this amazing rabbit hole. You know, I've suggested to friends that if you're looking to take up uh, some sort of craft, some sort of making, and you only have the corner of an apartment to work in, you know, leatherworking is perfect. You just need a table. Um, you can start with a really basic tool set and vegetable tan leather is such a, is such a beautiful material that you don't really need to do a ton to it to come out with something really awesome. So uh, I will stay recommending leatherworking to anyone who's looking to make in a small space and on a small budget. I mean, the tools can get expensive, but uh, you don't really need a ton to get started. If you follow me on Instagram, you might see I've been doing a ton of leather carving again. After making my carved leather belt this summer, I realized I really love the look of uh, carved animals on leather. So I've been making all these patches and key change, starting some commission work. And uh, it'll be really interesting to see like what people want and see what it's like to sell product. You know, it's all part of this amazing adventure that I feel, again, like so lucky to have the opportunity to do. And you know, as I, was, uh, as I was thinking this week and had some more time on my hands, I realized, you know, this is a perfect opportunity to finally launch my Patreon. If you've never heard of Patreon, it is a way that you can contribute a monthly amount to creators like me and uh, support me doing what I love, essentially. It'll help me create more content, buy tools, um, expand into other sorts of content. You know, I'd love to start a podcast and do more vlogs like this. So my Patreon page is live, it's launched. I'm really excited to build that community up. Um, I'm gonna get some logo stickers printed for the second tier rewards. I will have the link to my Patreon page in the description. So yeah, super excited about that. And I have my first goal on my Patreon, $15 a month. That will pay for my subscription to Epidemic Sound, which I use for a bunch of music in my videos. I try to use friends and artists that I love and really speak to me as much as I can, but these royalty-free music services are really uh, amazing service and take some of the stress out of finding that perfect song when I just have a video that I want to put out. And speaking of music, I want to give a shout out to my good friend, Patrick Gordon Swanson. I've used his music in a few of my videos. He's doing really, really cool stuff on piano, orchestral. I don't even know how to fully describe his genres, but he makes really beautiful music and he has just expanded into painting. I'll put a link to his Instagram in the description where you can see some of his work. He's doing awesome stuff. Pat is one of my very good friends. We always have amazing conversations. Every time we meet, it's like we just uh, picked up right where we left off. I'm shooting this vlog on my brand spanking new uh, Panasonic G85. It is a huge level up from the camera I was using. I made an Instagram story about it, but up until now I've been using this Sony DSC HX200V. It's one of the uh, Cybershot cameras. And it served me really well, um, but it doesn't have a flip out screen, it just kind of swivels. The record button stopped working reliably. Um, I have a bunch of dust in the lens. I'm not really sure if that's from, uh, how much of that is sawdust, how much of that is from a trip to the Grand Canyon, but uh, when the light hit it in a certain way, all those speckles would really, uh, would really come out. Um, the battery life was just totally shot, and uh, it's not a camera that's, that's really focused on shooting video, so you don't have a ton of flexibility in shooting. So I'm super excited about uh, this camera. It is a massive level up, and for one, just having this flip out screen makes sh shooting vlogs and all other content, honestly, like way easier. It is just a behemoth of features and performance. It's really exciting and I feel like this just opens up so much more quality production value and types of stuff that I probably wouldn't have thought of doing anyway. Awesome camera, it has um, a time-lapse function in which my previous camera didn't and which I've started to take advantage of on TikTok. I have hopped on that train, which has been really interesting. It definitely is a cool outlet for a lot of my shorter video content 
a lot of which I've been putting on Instagram, but I'm starting to make content specifically for TikTok. So you should definitely follow me there if you're not already uh, to get the full Yelron blog package. I've got a lot of leather carving, leather working process shots. I'm listening to what Gary Vee is saying about TikTok being what is current and what is huge. And you search a hashtag there and it has like 300 million uses, a billion uses. It's insane. <laughs> I have somewhere between four and six project videos on the go right now. Hey doggy. Really excited to finish those up. Be on the lookout for those videos. Make sure you're following me on both Instagram and now TikTok to get the full Yelron blog content package. And if you're interested in supporting me in another way, uh, check out the Patreon page. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.